Well, speaking of brotherly kindness, something new is coming to this area. The sport itself isn't new, but the opportunity for those who play is now expanding. Last year, a movement began to bring wheelchair and adoptive, adaptive tennis programs to Lima as a fundraiser for the purchase of more than a dozen specialized wheelchairs. At the end of May, the local organization hosted an event that took the program to the next level. Andy has more. Teachers getting taught. That's what was happening a couple Saturdays ago at Westwood Tennis Center in Lima. Nancy Hoekstra, um, she's one of the national lead national trainers for adaptive tennis. So um, what they're doing is they're going through a training on what they would basically do if they had kids out there. It's, there. it's adults out there right now, but they're doing a wonderful job. She's doing a great job of taking them through different drills, activities, games, all that to get them instructed and get the kids out there for the adaptive tennis program. I just think it's wonderful because um, people with physical disabilities sometimes don't think they, they can do it and they find out you can do it in your own way and uh, I mean the socialization is incredible and uh, it's just and we've got the the support system through the USTA and it's gonna be great. Working on uh, mobility drills, functionalities, working with partners. So it's all things, not just for adaptive and wheelchair, that is great for just anyone to get into the game. But part of the training here is demonstrating how it can be specific to those with intellectual challenges, uh, physical challenges as well. For 16-year-old Kellyanne Stallcamp, the program has been a dream come true. Because I used to watch them just play and me on the sideline. and So it's fun me being out on the court. I've grown up in a tennis family, I love tennis, and we've kept Kellyanne away from tennis because of her latex allergy. They had this fundraiser, and um, we talked to the wheelers, and they said they have had latex allergies too, have her try it. And so we um, started having her come out, they got her a chair through the fundraiser that we had, and she loves it. She's been working with Andrea and having lessons, so now we're encouraging her friends to come out too. It means everything to me that I can actually play. Um, just to get the word out um, that you can actually play tennis in a wheelchair. It's wonderful because her sister plays and I play and her grandparents have played and for her to be able to play with us it's going to be really fun this summer. It's unbelievable. It's the joy on their the faces when they're learning something new and as they progress through you know the channels then you see such happiness and such joy and the smile on their faces is just is just unbelievable. And they, they just absolutely love it.